Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, finally. I've done YouTube before, but I'm never taking it seriously, but now I am. So if you don't know me, I'm Erin Medina. It's a no bitch. This is my first, like, my first YouTube video, so I'm gonna be doing a Q&A, get to know. I've asked my Instagram followers to send me questions. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. How do you pronounce your name? So you pronounce it Erin Badina, not Erin Budina, not Erin Badina, it's Erin Badina. When and why did you move to London? So I moved to London about four and a half, five years ago, because previously I was living in Wales, which is boring, countryside, nothing to do, just not me. And then I spent like a year in Miami, LA, living my best life. Then obviously I can't live there. So when I kept coming back to Wales, I was like depressed and I thought, you know what? London is the next best place. So I literally had like a hundred pounds and I drove up in my little mini and I was like, Let's see what happens in London. And now here I am, a few years later, it worked out. Take a risk. What are your handbag essentials? Let's have a look. Okay, so always have a parking ticket, at least one. Passport because like I'm always travelling last minute. One earring because you know how it gets girls. <laughs> anyway, I always have a lip gloss but I don't today for some reason but I have some New lipsticks, of course. So this perfume that Tisha got for my birthday, it is Ellie Saab. It's really pen. Bobble. I call it a bobble, but I'm not sure if that's like a Welsh thing. Is that a Welsh thing? Or you call it bobble? Hair tie. Hair tie. And some shmoney and some emergency lashes. That is my handbag central, guys. What's your favourite and least favourite part about being an influencer? Okay, so favourite part is obviously like money and free shit. I'm joking, there's a lot more. I enjoy like being able to travel, meet like loads of cool people. I get to work with amazing glam team. You can, you can help people out a lot. Like when you have a platform, you have the opportunity to like help smaller businesses, help people starting out in whatever their field may be. Like, and also you're able to raise awareness on like, for example, the Amazon rainforest. Like, I feel like I raised awareness on that. And least favorite part is obviously like cyberbullying. I feel like I've been targeted for cyberbullying a lot. And I feel like I never had anxiety ever in my life prior to Instagram. I feel like I suffer with anxiety now and I feel like it's because of Instagram. What is the craziest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? I hate rumors. Like, so me and my friends, we went, um, we was in like this Turkish spa and we had this wrap. So you know you got like a mud wrap. This was like a chocolate wrap. You could literally like eat it and whatever. I do a little picture. And I posted it on my Instagram. This was about six years ago, probably. I posted it on my Instagram. Obviously, like, my picture's from six years ago and no one got my Instagram. A couple years after, this picture got, like, reposted on, like, a blog. Or, and they cropped my friend out, so it's just me, like... And there's this big story saying that um, it was human poo. And, like, like, for some reason, people pooed on me and they paid me to poo on me or whatever. And I posted a bit... I don't know. Like, it's bizarre. It's, like, weird even to say, like... Who would make that and who would believe it? Okay, favourite city is probably Paris or London. What cosmetic surgery have you had done? Okay, so I've had my lips done and then I had BBL and they took the fat from my arms, my back, love handles and my face. And then they put it in my hips to make it like more hourglass. How did you blow up on Insta? I get this question all the time. So my Instagram journey started because right, really I've just been very like extra. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? I was just, just annoying, whatever. I don't know, that's when I was younger. So when Instagram came, I, I got a few thousand followers straight away. And then I started going to Miami, doing music videos. I was dancing. Like I was just being a spotty on to be honest with you, I was a bit ratch. 
So yeah, I just built following that way. I was in Saint Tropez and I posted a mirror picture in the mirror and it banged. So this picture that banged, it just had a knock-on effect that all my pictures started like banging and then I just got loads of followers. I think I've got like 40,000 followers in like like this two week period. And then from there, do you have a middle name? Oh, my middle name is so embarrassing, like I don't even know why my mum would do this to me. My middle name is Bridget. I am Bridget Medina, bitch. Do you miss living in Wales? I don't miss living in Wales because I love I love being in Wales. I love going back to Wales. Like I'm obsessed with my dogs. Like my mum has like six dogs. It's just different, it's quiet, countryside, the water's fresh, like the air's fresh. I love it. But living there is so boring. Like, but I go there all the time. You bring in Solash back 100 percent I don't know why I've left it so long. I've been like trying to rebrand it and I'm bringing new products. I've been looking for the perfect formulas. I just want it to like I want it to be so perfect. And when I started doing music, I kind of like I was just I was just doing too much. And I'm such a Leo whereas like I'll start something and I'll put 100 percent into it, then someone else will come and I'll just run off with that. So that's a flaw of mine, but yeah, I'm definitely in the process of doing so much again. And I'd say by this Christmas, I'll I'll have it back out. So keep a look out. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> like literally no one. Like um, I'm just not. I just don't really feel anyone. Like Jennifer Lopez. Would you get more surgery? I kind of answered that, I think. I'm not sure, but the answer is probably no. Maybe when I have a baby. But for right now, no. How do you deal with negative comments? Is it hard? I feel like I've always been, like, I've always had negative comments, even from before, like, Instagram, when I used to have Facebook. Because I always used to post when I was, like, 12 my little hot pants and stuff so I've always just like kind of attracted negativity I just deal with it I'm just like whatever it's just like, if you don't like me like why would I care what you think does that make sense but I've learned I used to always react the more you react the more hate and negativity you, br you bring to yourself so it's like if you just ignore it it doesn't exist in my reality like you can hate over there would you date a normal guy or only a guy in the public eye? I would definitely date a normal guy. Like I'm not into like guys in the public eye. I'm not into like guys like being in front of the camera, like all extra, like it's not my vibe, but like a low key guy who just likes to be behind the scenes, make a little shmoney, you know? So definitely a normal guy over a big guy any day of the week. Have you ever worked a normal job? Yeah, like literally, I've worked in retail, I've done waitressing, I worked in an old people's home. I used to work on a, on um this one's embarrassing, I used to work on like a van making crepes. So I used to go to, um, oh, so cringe, but it's £12 an hour and I was like 16, so was, um, yeah, I used to like make crepes. I remember this one time, so we used to do like old people food, food and wine festivals, so I'd be chilling, whatever, making a crepe. And then this one time he's like, yeah, we're going to this food and wine festival it's somewhere like in the valleys. And I got there and as I was driving in, no, so I was 17, I was driving in and like, there was just loads of young people, like drunk, like it was a massive vibe. I was like, oh God, like this is really awkward. And I was in there, like right next to like, they had like a live, live band playing on the stage and they had like all the vans. So I was in my crepe van with my hair net on, like... <laughs> like making the crepes and like, these guys they kept coming over like these like group of boys like hey crepe girl can you make me a crepe like all this stuff so embarrassing asking for my number and stuff and then like two nights later i was out in cardiff with all my friends like none of them knew about this job because obviously when you're young like it's embarrassing like to be on a van making crepes whatever and i was in like this club and this group of guys are like crepe girl crepe girl i was like oh god kill me now excuse me not beep. So yeah, I've worked many a normal jobs. Are they taking a piss? So for that, guys. Next question. How old were you when you started stripping? 
Oh, no. <laughs> how old were you when you started stripping and how did you get into it? So I was like 18 or 19. And my brother, he was dating this girl and she was a stripper. And she was like, yeah, I made like a thousand pounds a day. And these times I was working like five days a week, 10 hour days in a hair salon, 400 pounds a month, it was a joke. And I was trying to actually save to go to like Miami and LA. And it was obviously just not happening. So she was like, yeah, you should audition. And I got it, obvs. I feel like I made like so many friends there. I felt like girls were more like me. I just loved being on stage. Like I literally had the time of my life, honestly. Like if I didn't start dancing, like I'd probably still be living in Wales. And I saved all my money. So glad for the strip club, thank you. Changed my life. Do you have an alter ego? I've never really thought, oh, I have an alter ego, but like sometimes, do you know sometimes you just give a fake name to people because you can't be asked, like you don't need to know my real name. So I say Esmeralda and I create like this whole other person who I feel like I'm half Esmeralda because like I'm half bad bitch and I'm half like super emotional, like soft, like I don't know. So kind of have a alter ego, I guess. Okay hey guys, so that is it with your questions. I hope I answered most of them. Now we're gonna do some quick, fun, rapid fire questions. Yeah. Cute. Cute dolly. So, shoes or bags? Shoes. Gloss or lashes? Uh, gloss. Gotta be a gloss. Beach holiday or city break? Beach holiday, duh. One thing you couldn't live without? My phone. Dog or cat? Dog, obviously. Favourite TV show growing up? The Hells. Homeboy wore cowboy boots to the beach. Last thing you Googled? Oh my god. Probably something cringe. I did this shrimp taco recipe. <laughs> Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coke. Love or money? Money. No, I'm joking. I'm actually love. <laughs> Drinks with one person, dead or alive? Elon Musk, I think. But yeah, Elon Musk. He's a cool guy. I would like to pick his brain. And why? Um, because he's like super clever and he's into like space and I feel like we have similar interests and I just want to know he's building a colony on Mars and I just want that invite because I feel like the world's going to end soon. Your dream car? Pink Lamborghini truck bitch. Or a pink G-Wagon but probably a Lamborghini truck. Burger King or McDonald's? McDeans. Milk or dark chocolate? I mean, well, dark chocolate in, in um, but taste wise, not chocolate. <laughs> hey guys, so that's it for my questions today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and comment below what other stuff you want to see on my channel and make sure you tune in for my content that I have coming up probably in the next week or two.